What's going on, everybody? Monday night from the Flip Ship Show. Uh, we are uh, looking forward to this. We have Matt Rosenberg joining us. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk Sandman news. We're, we're going to talk what's the furthest place from here. We're going to talk a lot of fun. So make sure you uh, hang out. Tales from the flip side. Tales from the flip side. Flipside. Oh, great time to be ha having uh, interviews right as I'm hitting the button. Right at that button. That's the way it works, ladies and gentlemen. It is Monday night, Tales from the Flipside flagship show. It was a fun week, a crazy week around here. Uh, we dealt with the hack of the century, which was interesting. And then um, uh, a lot of the boy out. Uh, sounds like uh, Big Leg was out partying due to the Raiders being uh, undefeated, which is uh, something that is very special to him. And He's then still lost course, in the black hole. And of course, uh, uh, Nico is supposedly on timeout. I don't know where the CEO is, but I've got John Z with me. I've got Mercer not with me. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Rosenberg. Thank you for having me, brother. We appreciate you. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm happy to be uh -huh. here. I'm glad I'm not on timeout. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's on timeout. You got to work hard to get on timeout. Oh, the CEO yeah. wants to arrive late. That's what he uh, does. Yeah. That's what I do all the time, baby. Yeah, when you run yeah. the show. Yeah. You got important so, meetings to take, man. What can I say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, listen, uh, we've been hearing little uh, bits tags and bits uh from the hive crew shout out to hive comics one of our favorite retailers um over the past uh, week or so uh you know here and there about something's coming and and something really cool is coming and this and that and like okay man what's up and then they let us know and and if you guys have seen uh their instagram today um it's uh pretty cool i'll go ahead and bring it up so uh Matt, have you had, uh, have you been, you, it's obviously, I mean, you've had a relationship with the Hive guys for a while now, it looks like, huh? Um, yeah, we, uh, you know, a uh, little bit. I've known them here and there. This is the first thing we've really done together. Oh, really? Um, okay. I thought for some reason yeah, that yeah. they, okay, okay, my bad. I apologize. Um, the Hive boys uh, uh, tagged, um, uh, you know, a lot of people in this uh, Instagram post sure. here, but um, um, you know, they're posting these uh, the new covers that they've got coming out. Uh, the High Boys got some exclusive books that are always they always have some of the best books. Uh, the Stan Yak book I saw recently um, was was absolutely amazing, and then they uh, announced this here today. Um, oh, I apologize there. I don't want to hey, do that. Going all over the place here. I'm going today, all huh? over the place tonight. I am. I am. So, uh, but um, they're working on uh, the new book. What's the furthest place from here? Is, is that is that right, uh, Matt? Th that is correct. They're doing uh, two exclusives for it, which is really awesome, uh, and I'm really excited about. They uh, there's one that they conceived of themselves and was their own thing, and then I mean they conceived of both of themselves. But the other is the bigger image you see right there is uh, an old friend of mine, Alexis Zirit, who's an amazing artist, does uh, Space Riders at Black Mask and a bunch of just like trippy, crazy, psychedelic, awesome stuff. And um, he did, uh, back when I was just starting, I did a book called We Can Never Go Home. And uh, I was sort of paying my rent and paying, making a living off, off going to cons and slinging that book and doing like convention exclusives and, and trying to get by. And I really wanted to go to San Diego Comic Con. And I was like, I want to go there. I don't want to, I, I don't have a table. I don't have a place to sell books. And I was like, I'm just going to do, you know, uh, 50 copies of this cover, do it, make it super limited, uh, make them, fig I figured out exactly how much they had to be to pay for my airfare and my share of the floor I was staying on. And uh, Alexis just whipped up this awesome cover. And so it's a very sentimental and dear cover to me. And so the Hive boys were like, can we do a tribute to that for this book and get Alexis to do uh, an homage to it? And I thought that was an awesome idea. So I was like, yeah, that, that would be great if he's into it. Yeah. So that's yeah. what that is. 
in, in a matter of fact, um, I actually have a old school image here. This is from Bleeding Cool back in the day of, of all the covers. And uh, you can see it here in the upper right oh, yeah. here, right? Yeah, that, that cover yeah. was one yeah. that just I could never get a hold of, but it was it's just gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, that was that was like a weird turning point for us because like, um, you know, it was like the fir my first creator owned book and it was one of the early books at Black Mask. And and so like stores didn't know how to back it and weren't sure what to do. And it was really a hard book to get a hold of. And I mean, I, I think we did. We ended up doing eight or nine printings of the first issue. And um, and so like the variants started becoming a real big deal and doing convention exclusives, people were really hunting them down in a big way, which was all new to me. And so like having that San Diego one, I walked up, you know, some friends let me use their booth and I walked up to the booth and I was like, Oh, there's a big line. I, I hope I can sell my book. And then I realized and then someone was like, the line is for your book. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> damn. That's and awesome. that was like my first, ex yeah, it was my first experience of that. And I was like, Oh, that's really cool. And, uh oh. so yeah people people always hit me up and are like do you have one of those laying around and i was like no i don't have a copy of it like i so have they I all sell out there like, like right away yeah i mean the first guy at the table was like can i buy all 50 and i was like no it's one for her <laughs> but there was like 150 people online so i had to be like hey, hey man why didn't you sell me the 50 i wanted all 50 of them you wouldn't let me do it <laughs> yeah I'm, so, I'm sorry i'm sorry to bring up uh, I, bad uh bad memories for you there oh, it's okay i remember this book was so smoking hot man when this came out like uh, it's funny to hear you talk about it that way considering like how how big how, how hot this book was when it came out like you know, to have hear you say, oh, you know, I hope I sell them out. And then me remembering like how crazy it was, this book was. I remember I have, I still have a couple 9.8s of the, of the uh, regular cover for number one. And I remember oh, that cool. tape cover too was, uh, that was an exclusive somewhere, right? Was that uh, New York? Yeah, that was like New York. We did, we did the four uh, covers and then we would mail you the fifth one to have yes. the full set. That's it. Oh yeah. So you can never God. go home one on each cover. Yeah, that, through those. I mean, you guys yeah. just kind of hit the right time uh, of that wave. Yeah, with the extra covers and the, and the yeah, yeah, it was real weird. Hey, it, I yeah, got it was, the, it was uh, real preview, weird because I was. I, I've got the preview book of um, mm -hmm. number Ooh. one, and it has um, it's got the oh yeah, it's got the kind of like uh, the introduction Script. to retailers about oh, that's what the cool. book is about yeah it's like uh i have no clue like i found this thing for a dollar somewhere uh, a few years oh, ago and little do I people have, know what's on the back i don't know what this i yeah i'm not quite sure what this is it's um uh, so that's what you were hunting for uh, yeah it's just like um just like something for retailers to just be enticed uh, you know enticed over yeah, yeah, that was, um, I printed those myself. Uh, it's got my phone number in it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's always always nice when those come up on eBay, and I'm like, well, all right. <laughs> only, it, it, only only, one person has called me from eBay. So if we, but if we lose the feed, though, we knew how to get a hold of you. Yeah, the phone yeah, number yeah. is <laughs> in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's um, cool, man. Yeah. That is cool. And I... <sighs> Yeah, I hit a point. Uh, actually, I'm. I was saying this uh, before the feed started. I was. I was telling a story. I'm actually up in. I'm not in my house right now. Uh, I'm in. I live in New York City, but I'm in Buffalo, New York, uh, because that's where Tyler, who draws what's the first place from here, lives. And we were. I came up here because this weekend we were mailing out those the re advanced retailer copies. And when I was putting it together, I put together a thing that, and it had my phone number in it. And Tyler. Tyler was like, dude, I don't, I don't think you can put your phone number in these anymore. Like, it, it's going to be a problem. And I was like, yeah, I guess you're right. I think email or, you know, social media is a much better yeah. choice. Yeah, so, yeah, my email's in there. Tyler was just really like, you're going to get murdered. Like, just don't, <laughs> don't do it anymore. So no phone number on the new one. So, so tell you're working with, a little with, bit about the new one. Yeah, you're working with Image now on that, right now? Is that, is that Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's cool. It's awesome. Yeah. The um, so yeah. The, basically, to give the backstory, like uh, Tyler, uh, boss, good old friend of mine. We used to work in a comic shop together, and he um, he was a colorist on some of We Can Never Go Home, and he did some of those variant covers, 
Um, he did them under an assumed name. He did them under a pen name because he didn't want to be like That's a cool. variant cover artist. So like people don't ever know that, but sometimes we're in our shows, people come up wearing cover and I'll be like, he drew that. And they'll be like, no, it says Rex something. I don't remember <laughs> what his pen name is, but it's Tyler. Um, I think he, he did it because he was doing them under like in a style that wasn't his style. So he was like, I don't want to like have this all this stuff out here that isn't how I draw normally. Um, so yeah, we did it. We did that. And then uh, we did our own book called Four Kids Walking to a Bank at Black Mask. And uh, people seem to thank you. People seem to dig it. And uh, me and Tyler really like working together. So when that book wrapped, we were like, let's do something else. And we immediately started on another book. And we got pretty far along. He was drawing the first few pages, and I was writing issue two. And um, I hit a point where I was like, this is the exact same book as Four Kids Walking to a Bank, but it has an alien in it. And I was like, that sucks to just do the same book again. And so I called Tyler, and I was like, hey, we can't do this book. And he was like, it's not the same. And I was like, no, it really is. And then he like took a night and came back and was like, it's the same book, dude. And I was like, I know. Um, so we took some time, and we decided to basically do the opposite book um, as from Four Kids. So like if Four Kids was like a crime story and sort of a tight five issue contained crime comedy, we were like, well, let's do, you know, an ongoing sci-fi fantasy epic post-apocalyptic thing. And that was sort of where this started from. And, and um, yeah, it's, it's uh, we, uh, Eric Stevenson, who who runs Image, was a was a four kids walking on bank fan, and you know, told me he really liked the book, and asked us if we ever wanted to do anything, and so we, you know, put a couple pages together, sent it to him, and he was like, "Yeah, we'd love to do it." So we're really excited because Image is um, a dream publisher for me, and put out uh, most of my favorite comics the last few years. And I mean, I love Black Mask, and they're they're our home always, and they're family to us, but. Uh, you know, we're just gonna stretch our wings a little and try try out Image, and and they've been amazing. It's been you know a dream come true so far, and people have been real excited. So, can you uh, tell us a little bit about uh, these uh, deluxe editions with the uh, seven inches? Yeah, yeah. Um, records. So, yeah. So we basically we were we we worked on the book for a little bit, me and Tyler, and then I got really busy with work stuff, doing a lot of Marvel stuff, and he got busy with some stuff, and then I had some family stuff come up. So we put the book on hold for a while, and then we came back to it, and we were really excited, and we started putting it together, and we were like, let's launch in like April or May of 2020, and uh, we were all ready to do that, and then uh, Diamond closed, and comic shops closed, and printers closed and we were like okay so maybe we're not going to launch a book right now let's uh sit tight and me and tyler had this whole thing of like you know panicking i mean i think a lot of comic creators are really panicked about like what happens if shops don't open up like what happens if they don't survive this um and so tyler and i had this idea to um we were like let's try and make this something special that will help that will move in comic shops and help put people in comic shops and, and get them excited. And so the first thing we did was we took the first two plus issues and made them one issue. Basically we took the first arc of the book and it's now just the first two issues. The first issue is 60 pa 64 pages and the second issue is 48 pages. Um, we wanted to make sure, and we didn't raise the price or anything. We just wanted to make sure people got the most bang for their buck and we're getting a, a, something that felt big and worth, worth picking up and, uh, but then we took it a step further and I was like, you know, there's a music component to the story. Um, the story is about a world that the world has ended and there's gangs of kids who live in the ruins and they, they sort of, um, they all live in businesses and, and establishments and they sort of take on the personality of those things. So the kids who live in the bank are like traders and the kids who live in the police station sort of run around and it, try and enforce rules that they make up and, um, but our gang is, is a gang of kids who live in a record store and they and they they worship and sort of guard the records and they don't really fully know what they are, but they they hold on to them. And um, so there was already like a music component to the book. And I, I was like, you know, while we're here and while we're sitting around and everyone on the world in the world is just sitting at home, like there's a lot of musicians who are sitting at home doing nothing like let hit up some people that, that we like and bands we like and see if they want to do seven inches for 
the book and then we could have something that you know wouldn't just be a comic but would hopefully put other people in in record store into comic shops and you know to me it's always sort of a no-brainer just because i think record collectors and comic collectors are are very similar yes. uh, people <laughs> like whether you're talking variant covers or colored vinyl or like unscratched records and or 9.8s like items. Fucking promotional weirdos. items and like yep we're all weirdos yeah, exactly. man yeah and I, you know i've worked in a comic shop and i worked in a record store and i was like you know it's a different dress code but it's the same dude it's like just all all the same kind of thing so uh, i my idea was just to figure out how to get those record store kids into a comic shop and it was funny because I brought the idea to Image and I was like, yeah, we're going to do seven inches and we want to like get people excited. And, and they were like, this is great. Like we can put comics in record stores and like they're always looking for place ways to put, you know, uh, they're always looking for ways to get more people excited about comics. Amen. And I yeah. got that and I and I like that. Yeah, I love it. And I said, I, I get the idea of wanting to put this in record stores and I think it's cool. And I said, but coming out of the pandemic, like my first love is trying to get people into comic shops. So like before we're starting to take comic fans and make them have to go to a record store for a weird thing, like let's take record collectors and put them in a comic shop and, and hopefully they fall in love with it and start buying books. And I think, that's so a yeah, genius, we're doing I, these. I, I think that's a genius idea uh, here. I live in Phoenix, Arizona and Phoenix. We have a, uh, we have a, a, a record store that's been around for ages. Uh, that was Awful. when I think back to like my teenage years, my one of my favorite aha moments was walking into Zia Records for the first time to go get a Bex uh, CD and just mm -hmm. tripping out and, and the smell of the Nog Champa and seeing all the weird shit. And, and you know, the you, you hit the used CD shelf first, but then you see all the cool promotional material and that same mm -hmm. record store is still alive today in Phoenix. They have a couple locations still because they're a record store slash comic store. They sell comics, they sell toys, they sell all that stuff. And awesome. I, I think that is like the perfect, one of the perfect, uh, you know, marriages. So this, that's why I love this. That's why I thought it was great to bring up. Matter of fact, we got Hive, uh, one of the Hive boys here, James. How's it going, brother? What's up, guys? Hey, What's, up? What's up? Good to see you. Sorry for being late. I was late too, so don't worry. <laughs> Okay. He's gonna put you in timeout like Nico. Yeah, pretty well. Much. I'm gonna I'm gonna make up for it actually. Ooh. Okay. Um we decided, you know, because it's cool Matthew's be on here, which is amazing. Um, and we we're so excited to to be able to do this. Uh Jonathan and I are both huge, huge fans uh, of Matt's work. So like it was uh when we heard first heard rumors of the book, um, we knew we had to be involved in it, so we were super excited. So excited we did two covers um awesome. so we did the bartling and the zreek cover um but yeah for you guys for everyone that's watching and stuff like that we decided to make make up for uh us being late and being slightly unpresent um we actually if you scroll down a little bit you will see that i just made it live Ooh, so we weren't gonna go live until next weekend um that's gorgeous man it's live now so if anybody wants to go snag those up feel free wow that cool. is cool absolutely gorgeous man yeah, great job great how could you not how could you not use uh zuri on a cover you know yeah. with with a it being a, a rosenberg yeah, yeah. book right like how could you not so yeah, yeah that, is, that, that awesome. other i mean the, the imagery is just fantastic the colors yeah. the i think i think the concept's cool too i mean i could see this being like a hulu series probably you know like i could see like i could see a spinoff going into tv I really could. I mean, if, if the writing's, you know, I'm obviously Matt's, Matt's really a good guy. I mean, if the writing's there and everything is, looks great, man, this is a great option for a series, man. I could see it. I mean, everything is option nowadays, but, you know. Probably sure. already yeah. optioned. He's just keeping it, keeping quiet. Yeah, you know, you know, I, you know, I, I don't know if they, you know, I'm just saying. So if you go back to the drop down menu and click the Bartling cover, you can see okay. the Bartling cover too. All right. Which is cool. I've been trying to work with him forever. So that, yeah. yeah it's a great drop cover. menu. Right here, where is it? Right to here? the left, there, bud. Yeah, top left. There you go. Jesus, yep. man. Come on, man. God. Come on. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. 
I love it, yeah, man. Uh, you, you, know, you know how we feel about Hive Comics. Uh, we love all, everything that you do. Uh, over, you guys do over there. You guys you know, do great stuff. And I love uh, the way that you you take your guys' as exclusives. You guys kind of take it in a different route. You um, It seems like you guys like to pick uh, like artists and, and series and stuff to work on that uh, isn't really the norm of what's going on. Like, you know, yeah. um, you know the stuff that you guys do, the people that you choose to work with and stuff, which I really love. Well, we only we only do books that we want to read and we only we only work with artists that we want to see more of their artwork. You know, yeah. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of been our our thought on everything is, is like it's, you know, as long as at the end of the day, like if me and Jonathan ended up with still having 500 copies of this book, I'd be happy because I'd have 500 copies. Of I this. hope that. You know, I uh, really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I highly doubt that's going to happen. I am excited because we've got the vinyl, the records too. I'm I'm actually excited to listen to that. I'm I'm stoked yeah, for yeah. those. Two. I've well, got an old record player of my grandpa's that I'm like, I've I've had it hanging out forever, but I it's been forever since I played anything on it. But I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to drag it out from underneath the stairs to give it a listen. Well, I'm gonna drop a, a link in the comments, you okay. guys. We got 115 watching live. Uh, go uh, score you some nice books. This, um, I guarantee, this will probably be a book we're gonna not probably. I guarantee this will be a book we're gonna be talking about for a couple weeks. You guys know how this works. Um, uh, you never know uh, what's gonna show up on the hot ten, but um, usually, if it's a sick, really sick. A uh, new series that has an amazing cover, uh, that perfect storm. Uh, people are gonna go crazy for it. So, just be ready. Just be ready. Shout out to Brett Hess Art. Uh, he says he just snagged a cover. Um, Clayton J says he just got a set. Not not bad. Not bad. So good stuff, man. Really Brett's cool. Brett's the man. You know you're doing it right if you put out a good cover and other artists are buying it. You know you're doing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Brett's the man. That's Those bad. ratios that you guys chose for this book too, the ratios for this book are amazing. Mm -hmm. Those the ratio covers oh, thanks. are yeah. beautiful. Yeah, we we went in and I I just called like, you know, it was a, it's all a bunch of like I've never done that before. Like it's always been like especially when I was a black mask, it was sort of just like sort of going to a bunch of friends who who we could just throw a couple hundred bucks at them. And this one was like, let's call in some favors, like let's call some buddies and and get them going and uh you know like jenny frizen is is a is an old friend and and i was like jenny can you do something and like it was really last minute and she was like for you yeah um and she's a sweetheart so i was really happy to do that and uh martin simmons and yeah we just have a ton of awesome people uh scotty young and and bendis did one which was awesome and yeah a lot of favors i, I don't have any chips left to cash in after this book is done but I got a question okay. for you. Um, when you have a, like an artist do a uh, when you have an artist do a cover for a series that nobody has seen, um, are are mm -hmm. you sending them designs? Are you sending them like I don't know, like some sort of a like character studies or what? Are, what are you sending them? Yeah. So normally, I would send like the character designs and stuff like that. Tyler is real protective of that stuff. Like, cause he, he really, he likes to like sort of build the book on the page as he goes. So he does character design stuff and he does that stuff and I see it and then he sort of locks it away and we don't ever see it again. And he's like, you know, they, they sort of, he, there's actually earlier versions of all the page of a bunch of the pages because he drew them and then was like, no, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with them and I want to change them. He's really like uh, a perfectionist in that stuff. And so we didn't have that kind of stuff. We didn't have character design sketches or turnarounds or anything. Um, so we had to uh, just send people the book and be like, what do you want to draw? Like, uh. you know, for the first issue, it was it was really just like, you know, we have a, a, a bunch of it done. So we could send people the book and uh, just be like, yeah, draw what you want. It, it, it's a little different because that the cover that's on screen now, the Martin Simmons um, cover, uh, we're doing there's two, for every issue we're gonna have, there's two kind of themes that we're gonna keep doing. One is a horror cover, because there's like this weird horror undertones to the book. And so we have different horror artists doing them for every issue. And so Martin, we had to be like, you have to do this creepy thing from issue one. And that was like specific direction. And then um, the other is, is there's a map cover and that uh, Courtney Menard drew 
and that was this whole big elaborate different thing because uh that's actually it's going to be six she's already done it but it's okay. six interconnecting covers that oh, wow. it'll be two rows of three that form a map and the map is actually where the characters go in the story. So every issue, it took so long to design this, every issue is actually what happens in the story. So when you see oh, the next map, dope. it's like where they're gonna end up and it actually follows their journey. Um, we, we built it with a little dotted red line to show where they're going and what they're avoiding and who they run into. But then we uh, took out the red line at the end. So it's, but it is the, it's the map of the story and the actual map of the world that she drew. And so each one connects to form a full map. Uh, so that one was a little more complicated than just sending her the book. We had to like really go over everything with her, but yeah, it's, a, uh, it's always complicated to put the covers together so far out. Well, uh, you guys, uh, sorry, I sorry. Know. I was distracted because I ordered myself a nine, eight of this because I missed the original and I was not going to miss this one. Yeah. Oh, look at you. 124 live. Make sure you guys go check it out. I'll drop the link again in the chat. Um, these are the uh, uh, covers that you'll see. And, um, and for the record, the chat is just buying it nonstop. You, you, it could sell it tonight. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it took a long time to process the order. It kept thinking. Yeah, our website's going nuts right now. There's 41 people on the website right now, so it's going crazy. We've got the – I think we put our record ones up there, That's too. Awesome. Thank we you. Thanks to everyone out. watching. We we appreciate it. Oh, yeah, no oh, and and I was fortunate enough to be able to read the PDF, uh, Matthew, and it's and it's phenomenal. We It got me that much more excited. Um, yeah, it's, it's an awesome story. I'm excited for the next issue. I really am. So – and honestly, those extra <laughs> pages, too, they fly by, oh, like – you guys cut it. That was that issue one was the perfect story builder. You know, there wasn't there wasn't a spot in it where I was you're like actually, they could have actually separated this and made those two issues. Like it was it was meant to be that way. It was it felt natural. So oh, thanks. that was yeah. good. I I enjoyed it a lot. I know Jonathan did too. Like Yeah, yeah. We yeah. sort of reworked it to 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 do that. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, it ended at a good spot. Ended at um, a good spot. We actually dropped a. Uh, uh, there's a package. There's a package headed your way to the to the hive. Uh, what? We sent you a little thank you package this week. So. Oh, you're the best. Yeah. You're the well, best. Well, I'm we looking forward to it. it and you know, it's kind of yeah. awesome to to kind of start Maybe a new world with a nice big kind of book instead of just you know you get 16 pages to start an epic story and you just can't get anywhere. Yeah. I think. Is collectors yeah, yeah. Readers. I mean, the, the, one of the, the things point. about this is, is. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say. Is oh, that, I was just a... saying that, you know, like one of the things we really. <laughs> <laughs> we're, do, we're doing this uh, laggy, a special <laughs> lag edition. Uh, I was just going to say what one of the things that we, we really want to do, like a lot of the stuff we really love in, in storytelling, like has a lot of mystery to it. And, and a lot of like, you go into a lot of unanswered questions. I was thinking about stuff like Lost and, and like Twin Peaks and, and things like that. And, you know, um, where you don't, you don't know exactly what it is from Go. And, and that's something we really wanted to capture with the book. And so that's something that like, I look at a lot of books and they're like, page 20, they, you know, they essentially tell you like, this is the premise of our story. And we wanted to be like, let's go, let's give you more world but also leave a lot of questions. So there's a lot of mystery and a lot of like weirdness and, and where we're going. I mean, it's an ongoing book. So like we have a long, a big chunk of book planned. And so there's a lot of sort of questions and threads and weirdness that people are gonna like figure out over time, I guess is the, the best way to do it. But it's a, well, yeah, it's a, it's a weird first issue, but it, it's fun, I think. We'd love to have you on uh, more as uh, we get more about the story and see more and and the, and hear more from uh, you know the fans that are reading it and, and hear from the collectors out there. Um, love to have you back on and uh, you know we always have the Hive Boys on any chance we can get. So um, we appreciate you coming on and looking yeah. forward to this as we go to, go down the future. Awesome, I, I appreciate it. Well, thank you for hanging out with us, and then uh, of course um, you know. Hopefully, uh, like I said, we'll get you back on here and um, have some fun out there in Buffalo. Uh, hopefully, you uh, you got a little bit more of your night that to, to get down. So, thank you, brother. 
yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. And thanks, everyone, for watching and checking out the book. I hope everyone at home digs it. Thank you, All guys. Right. Cool. Thanks, thanks, man. Matt. Thanks, Matthew. Take care, guys. That is gorgeous, man. James, that is that is yeah. uh, out of this world gorgeous. I think the coolest thing, really, is it's like, I don't know. I think it's it's a thing that's special with indies, right? Yeah. Is with Marvel, you get the characters on the cover. You know what's you already know what it's about. You already know the backstory. It's been going for decades, right? But with indies, you almost get like it's like a window into some part of the story that you don't quite know what it's about yet. You know, to where it's like like we've read the PDF. We know what this cover is about. We know what the other one's about. You know, we know what all the ratios are about. But a lot of people look at them. And they're like, yeah, it's cool art. But then when you read the story, you just appreciate it that much more. And like, yeah, I think it's going to be, I don't know. They're cool covers to begin with. But I think once everyone actually picks this book up and reads it, they're going to be like, holy shit, that's really badass. Well, you know, I really wanted to get into a little bit more of them, but I know the lag just, it just makes it uh, oh, it's know, rough, annoying. Yeah. yeah, it's rough. So, but one of the things I wanted to talk with, you know, Matt about was the, I mean, the amazing amount of covers that they had that were just really great they have that aesthetic um and they're carrying it over with this it's kind of like that like we talked about like that n early 90s late 80s 90s you know punk rock like you know uh record store comic book store uh art aesthetic you know that type of thing um that i absolutely love and you guys uh that are watching right now hopefully you remember some of these amazing covers for we can never go home and when these were hot, were out, I mean, the Hot Topic one was the one I remember, like, just because I grabbed it because it had the tape cassette on it because of flip yeah. side. I, I remember mm -hmm. just like, oh, I got to get that. Um, just really cool. I remember the the We Can Never Go Home. I mean, this one right here, the old school uh, homage. Uh, oh, they homage. Bam. I haven't seen yeah. Bam in so long. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, they just they just killed it. They did I was really like the Milo. Job. And this is the only issue my one. My first local um, eBay purchase was actually to a guy that had three of the con variants for We Can We Can Never Go Home and found out he lived like 30 minutes away. So I ended up meeting him up at a mall that's kind of like in between and, and picked, picked three of them up. I still got them stashed away. The, but that the covers, became a chase for me for a while. Like I started trying to hunt down a bunch of those. Yeah. The covers for the series look like they could be just dope ass like prints that are hanging on yeah. a wall. Absolutely. It look like old school, like uh, concert po uh, uh, posters and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, really cool stuff. Yeah, Yi says, uh, love the Bad Brains cover. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. We need to, uh, we need to have him uh, do a gold, gold, a gold record. Yeah. For our show. We do. That Too would late. be cool. Well. <laughs> uh, I was going to no, say that too. We, like, should, I wanted we to, need to forget the record. We need to do a tape. Well, yeah. that'd be cool too. Gold cool tapes. That, that gold awesome. tapes. Hey, we'll talk in Baltimore. We'll figure something out, guys. Okay. We uh, <laughs> nobody uh, makes I, tapes anymore. No matter who cares. I could find. I bet you, I could find somebody. I there's we'll some turn them in. pop heads what? here in here in Salt Lake that what? still make cassettes. What, what McClay turning them on in his old uh, memory? <laughs> recording yeah. them from the from the it'd be, cool to to turn in, it'd be cool to turn them into little thumb drives you know what i mean they just have a little thing that pops out that oh, plugs into your computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be cool too um so we held back 10 of our records though and i don't know you guys don't do giveaways on the show but we're going to give one away to somebody in chat at some point I will well, do, yeah. i'll, and I'll then, set uh, up the night bot let me say and then the, the other bot. nine that we set aside we're going to give away to just random orders um on the books so because cool. we've got we we picked one of the lowest we picked the lowest print run 100 print run on the record ones um so we're gonna be yeah like i said we've got 90 of them available well, we had 90 available on the website um but we held back 10 because we're like hell let's give some away so yeah let's, let's do let's do the super secret job how, how many got left what do you got 80 70 60 of the record ones yeah let me check real quick so you guys, uh, we're starting the um, giveaway timer now uh, for everybody that's hanging out in chat and that's live and active in chat. You have a chance to win. Um, at some time during the show, I'll uh, just randomly choose a time and whoever has been active in the chat for the last uh, 10, 15 minutes will have a chance um, to win the giveaway. 
So what do, uh, what do you think, Brian? Do do an old school like video game thing, like a cartridge or some shit too. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. Old old PSP or Game Gears that nobody gives a shit about anymore. Everybody gets one of those. Yeah, we've got sixty eight left. Look at that. I snagged one of those too. So they're, they're going badass. We're of ninety. Well, I guess we only put ninety up because we held back That's ten. Good. But so again, you guys, one hundred and thirty one live. Make sure to go check out hive comicscom I'll put the link in the chat. Um, they just uh, put the sale active. Uh, it is live for you to go order these super dope. Uh, what's the furthest place from here? Exclusives. Um, trust me. Uh, check them out. Definitely check them out. What's the? Uh, can you go up? Is there a way to uh, James? Is there a way to look at the, what the uh, the vinyl looks like? Is there on there? You know, I'll see if I can find the image. They sent it to us um, before. It's just it's the red vinyl one. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. yeah, this is the they one. Basically, they let a couple right of here. retailers pick, and it's um, the comics. Just it's I'm pretty sure it's just the cover A, but it comes with the record um, that says seven inch vinyl. If you do the drop down there, it's in there somewhere. Yeah, it's but in there. I don't I, know. If my got, my if dummy butt found it. Vinyl, though. It's the Zreet Bartling Hive oh, red vinyl. Vi one. Red vinyl. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Oh. So make sure you guys go check it out. Yeah, I don't have an actual. Let me see if I can find it though. I think. I think I think image they have the is it the pink or whatever they have the 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 vinyls of it is red right? I mean, that image is so. Yeah, I mean it's on there. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, the black flag cover swipe is sweet on the. Uh, we can never go on that for sure. Uh, thanks for everybody that is uh, hanging out. Uh, appreciate you guys. Got a lot of people. Uh, Dustin said he couldn't resist the red vinyl set. Oh, yeah, Dustin. Um, a lot of people picked up uh, the exclusive already. A couple of people have picked up the 9.8, including uh, John Z himself. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to. Th I was actually thinking, when's the last time I've bought an exclusive? Ooh. Yeah, it's been a really long time. Well, they don't do foreign exclusives, so you know. Anybody get the uh, NYCC ash can? Uh, there is an NYCC ash can. There you guys can mm. go for hey, everybody don't that's going to don't okay. talk about that. Don't talk about the NYCC ash can until I've got one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bre uh, Jonathan picked one up. Now I got to get one. So, are you? Uh, I guess I don't know. I guess I was talking to Mel in one of the chats. You saying NYCC? A bunch of people aren't going to be there. Like yeah, I guess Marvel. People. Yeah, Marvel's. Canceled. I don't think any of the, yeah, any of the big, big retailers aren't going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you guys? I, what not I took know. Marvel's Marvel's booth? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, whatnot's yep. got Marvel's boost space. Yep. Nice. Um, are you guys are you going to NYCC? Are you boys going there? I'm going there just to do a whatnot live sale from oh, the yeah. NYCC. That is like the only reason I'm going. Huh. So I'll be I'll be yeah. there Thursday and I'm like flying in Thursday morning at five in the morning and mm -hmm. leaving Friday evening. Okay. So but I mean, because we got Baltimore, we got Emerald yeah. City coming up, a bunch of other shows. So like I gotta I gotta get yeah. back and get ready for those. We get tons of books that have come in that we're trying to get ahead on and luckily we're we're about there but um, i got you yeah we're just i can't can't take a whole weekend for new york not right now forget nycc baltimore yeah. where it's at yeah. yeah well i'm excited i'm way excited for baltimore <laughs> which we gotta we we need to get a, a bunch of us in a group chat and figure out some stuff with that one so well, add, yeah, i'll add you do. i'll add yeah. you i got a um i got a group chat i can add you to the the public group chat and then we can make another you know other group chat but cool. that works. um yeah i'm excited uh we're doing a little saturday thing i'll let you in on that too and then um yeah it, i mean it, we were talking z it's like 50 deep 50 60 deep probably and this on this who's all coming kind of thing uh where do you guys got you guys got a booth there don't you guys us you, no yeah no okay well you can come hang out our booth all day i got i got, I got two booths now it's a badass Sweet. i am so. We we've thought about That's it. I, just don't, I don't want to be stuck behind a booth the whole weekend. You don't have to. You That's know why what you mean? come hang like, out with us. Yeah, come hang yeah, out with us. That works. Shoot, shoot, yeah. the, shoot the shit. Drop the bag. We'd We're gonna leave Dino and Brian in charge. The rest of us would be wandering oh, around oh like boy. morons. I I could sell everybody's books probably. I mean Carter Carter knows. I just I was selling Sleepy's books. No big deal. Great. That's all we need. <laughs> Sean will still be lost, so it'll be okay. I um I told I told Nico even though he's not here. You can't have the the sleepy uh, Carter knows the red, green, yellow, orange, pink dots, and they're all different percentage offs, <laughs> and the three for tens, and a hundred for one. And it's, I'm like, dude, you need to make this as simple. Just put a price sticker on it, and you go. Yeah, 
Yeah. You can't so. beat deciphering codes and shit. He, dude, he has this thing. It looks like a matrix of like everything, and I gotta like go like this and down and stuff. I'm like, dude, what are those? I go, I go. If I don't know, it's a dollar, dude. Figure, figure it out. Man. <laughs> Hmm. So, but no, I'm excited. Um, I hope, I hope, um, I hope we get to meet a, a bunch of good people there. Obviously, you know, and um, I'm super excited to hang out with people. And I, I, you know, it's it's I'm one of the few people. Lake Lake's probably the best at it. Who's met everybody? I've met close damn near everybody except for Brian, probably in person. Uh, but um, no, it's it's gonna be a good time. I can't wait. Super yeah. stoked. I'm really looking forward to it. That's what I'm excited for. Like, honestly, we hang out with a bunch of you guys online all the time, but I've never personally met anybody. So that's going to be cool. I'm, I'm stoked. Really excited. I'm just going to stay in my hotel room all weekend. I'm, I'm not even joking. Um, that's, that's fine. I'll figure out where it is and we'll come. Yeah, yeah it's all good. Dude. Don't worry. Um, no, it's, it's going to be cool, man. And then, like, I got, I got Z, Z selling, setting up shop. Carter's going to be setting up some shop. Nico's going to set up shop. Um, Nico just got some fire and he showed me. Jesus. Guy's a beast, man. Um, we'll have to talk about after. I, I got an eBay eBay item I want you to look at. Ooh. All right. Ooh. All right. So what, should we uh, should we talk about Sandman? Sure. Do you want to? I know Brian. Brian I feel I like this Brian. is your baby. I feel like this is this is you. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking forward to it. I don't know. Did you guys see the, uh, the uh, preview that was put out? It was um, just a teaser, right? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, a little teaser uh, that Netflix put out, uh, like a first look, which is really cool. It's pretty dope. It was kind of um, one of those projects I didn't think was ever actually going to get here. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like it well, feels no, like it's been in development for 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the the crazy thing is the fact that, um, you know, there's two, pro there's two uh, you know, series that are kind of felt like that, that are, getting their love right now with why the last man um and now this that we you know had been in production hell forever um but it looks really good i like the way that uh everybody looks i like the way that they they made um you know everything look it looked like it's straight out of the comic book it, it's very now, interesting now my thing is before we before we hit this thing should I go now? I was I was real young. I was three when it started, and in '96. Do I go back and read it, or do I just? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go back and read it. Yeah, okay. I I uh, I've been reading the Absolute Editions for the past couple months. Oh, I've been trying to get a copy of those, and I always cheap out, and it pisses me off. I'm I'm doing it digitally because I'm that dude. It's okay though. It's okay. No, I don't. Wait, you have the Absolute. I went to like the two, the two or three book omnibus fucking things those are Ooh. beautiful you know who who has them no <laughs> you always ask him he might send you a set um this is uh here we go i'll show you the, the kid's kind of young looking to me he's pretty young looking but i'll give him a pass on that it looks a little different here he looks i mean this is exactly like right out i mean it looks like a i always thought that sandman was kind of like a cross between like what Neil Gaiman actually looked like and like Robert Cure from the Smith, you know what I mean? Or Robert, Jesus, Robert Smith from the Cure. Fuck. Audible so. production is free right now. People are saying just buy the library at Omnibus. You won't regret it. Yeah. People got a leather brown. Got to get the Yeah, libraries. that's the one I want, the leather brown. Yeah, those are the uh, absolute editions. Oh, yeah, boy. Those, those are the ones I want. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So here's here's the question: Is now the time to start selling your Sandman books? Because mm. I know a lot of us have been sitting on some Sandman books. For I mean, a long okay, so time. so I guess the keys are right. one, the seventy five second print, right? Obviously, um, eight. eight. Uh, I think I think any I think almost right now any early issues of that book are are worth putting up you know what i mean carter how many how many stacks of stand man you got sitting in the back back there about 20 long boxes hey 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 <laughs> i tell you what i tell you what i sold i sold a stack about a year ago mm -hmm. like, i'm out the game oh wow then wow slowly kept accruing sandman books now i got another stack okay and now okay. it's on and popping okay i got you let's see where you're at so here's the absolute edition. One guy had two of them up there for eight, eighty five dollars best offer. That's not bad. Here's number twenty five, the Deadway Detectives. That's still a fifty dollar book. Damn, yep. nice. I yeah. like that. 
So fifty dollars on that twenty-five, which is just caught on here. You go nine point eight, thirteen fifty for nine point eight. Wow. CBCS nine point eight. Wow. That's crazy, right? Yeah, I mean uh, fourteen fifteen hundred for a CGC. I mean, is it really an is it really a tough nine eight? I guess. I mean, yes. Yeah. Is oh, it? Yeah. Okay. Thick book. Yeah. Okay. Here's that a sex was trash. Oh, Dude, whoever got this right here got themselves a deal. Oh, Holy cow. Yeah. Click on that. How about that? Can we look at the? I want to listen. Yeah, to that's what I want to see. That. I want to see that too. See the condition on this one. So this is the book right here, you guys. Next to the eight uh, variant, right? The Berger. What, what the hell did I just do? Jesus. The Berger variant. There we go. Yeah, so this is a one fifty. One fifty on this. That's a first print, okay. No, it's a second. What? Oh, second. there it is. Yeah, yeah. there's a fir it's a first and second. Yeah. So this See, that's, first. A, that's the first. Yeah, a that's the second. Yeah. Wow, he got a first and second. So who cares about the first? But look at that second. Oh my lord. Let's go to the back. That's what matters. No, the front looks good too. The front's a hard is a tough one because it's darker on the front. There's a little color rub. Yeah. Wow, that's a great. That's a great score for 150 bucks on that. A little bit of a corner scuffing. Yeah, I sold 100. I sold one for 150 like four years ago. Wow, man. I can't believe this went for that cheap. You know who got it? Your boy. I'm joking. I didn't get it. I wish I would have. If somebody in chat get it, let us know. Sick. Yeah. Well, the other one to be nice would be the Sandman Omnibus signed artist proof ones. Yeah. Oh, go go uh, back Nico there for has a second. One of those. Go, go back for he a does? second. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go or sorry, forward in your in your link. They had the the I think the omnibuses or the leather bounds right there. What's that? Oh, Is yeah, the absolute? omnibus or the you get absolute, five, absolute nicer? They're the absolute or the leather ones. Here's the absolutes right here. Four fifty. <laughs> Come on, Z. Here's the absolutes. Time to be a boss. Set. So these are how they look. They're in the little slip cases, and then on the other side is. You know, they're all leather bound and dope sick. looking. Sick. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it means triggers getting pulled tonight. And the 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 pages on them are so gorgeous. Big. I know. I almost hate to read good. it. It feels like it's so nice. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Great, great. Look at that. He's utilizing the CGC box. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Um, are they, right. are they, oh, who's who's in the chat? Somebody in the chat, tell me about the omnibus if they read it. How nice is that? I'm James trying Kreider to decide between says, the two. Do it, do, do it. it, do it. Which is going to give me the better experience? Two seventy nine <laughs> for eight sixty for one through seventy five. Somebody paid wait, almost. Wait a second, though. Wait a second. L listen, listen. What's going to give you the best experience is when you have a nice leather bound book and a nice bourbon in your hand. Yeah, that's that's the best experience. Get $30, fire base count. Thirty dollars for the uh get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> the Millennium series, yeah. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Damn. Wow. Okay. It is Sandman season. It is. Look yeah. at that. Nice. Thirty dollars for that. I've never seen that. Have you guys ever seen this one? I could I I no. I have that kicking around somewhere. You got a dollar bin, didn't you? Probably. 50 cents. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's uh, you know, the eight that sells. Uh, I want to open every single one up, check it. Uh, there's a signed uh, nine point eight CGC one. There we go. Signed number one CGC for thirty five hundred. Yeah. Absolutes. Now, Omni is a real fat and just kind of standard. The absolute even has a bookmark attached, like a Bible yeah. does. Yep. Sick. Salmon number four raw one twenty first Lucifer. And they're saying, look at the omnibus's binding is suspect, doesn't hold up. Because pages it's are really book. thin. Jeez, yeah. oh boy. Yeah. 229. So yeah, listen, I mean, $64 for number 10, 30 for number 13. Yeah, it's uh it might be selling. Is it selling season? I mean, could could the I, show take off? Here you go. 299 for one through four was sold. That's a pretty good deal. Whoever got that. I should have. Uh, I mean, I picked up some at uh, Second and Charles. There's some Sandman, just dollar fodder back in the day. I mean, just yeah. like, oh, these are cool. You know, yeah. Jason Klein says, years ago, I found in a back issue bin a copy of the signed edition number fifty by Gaiman. Uh, it's not cool. insane in value, but for me, I love it as I never had the chance to meet him. Yeah, that would be cool. Well, and 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 for people who are going to Baltimore, right? Gaiman's going to be there, right? Is that what we talked about? Is that what we said? 
Or am Let's I getting take a look? Or I'm getting confused with uh, NS. If he is going to be there, that uh, that might be something uh, major. May, maybe oh, I don't want to get everybody too excited. Was it that or was it? Nope. It's in the G's on the right. Yeah. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Man, that would have been cool. Why are you getting my hopes up, bro? Wow, this is the comment of the day. I like this. Oh, one. boy. Hey, hey, you know, I just you never know, man. It depends on what circles you roll in. In my That's circle, right. we hear it compared to the Bible all the time. So, well, I mean, I listen, this is this <laughs> same man is like on like books of 50 greatest uh, novels. Like, they don't yes. put graphic, it's like considered a work of like actual literature. Okay. Yep. Well, uh, Josh says, uh, Colonel Josh says that he thought he retired from signing. If that's the maybe. case, that is crazy. Yeah, maybe. I mean, wait, wait till the email comes out, you know, from our buddies at CGC. <laughs> 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 it's funny. That, There's multiple errors within that print run, too, of those issues. Yeah. Because yep. I know there was like 18, issue 18 and issue. So issue nine or issue twelve or something like that had an error. Eight has the Karen Berger, uh, the super rare one. Nineteen, I believe, has the pages that are flipped or the color change, something like that, right? I think it was both. I think there was there was both because I had the color. I had the the page flip one. Um, I actually that's one of the books I traded for my uh, Avengers fifty eight. Um, the audible that in a little yeah. cash, but. Um, but yeah, that color one I think is like there's only a handful of the color one. James Lewis scored two Sandman number eights for a dollar each at a swap meet. Nice. Jeez. Nice. That is a score. A score of a century. Um, I'm I'm looking. Uh it did it the same man spin-offs have won more than twenty six Eisner awards for the person who was saying didn't win an Eisman. I can't remember where he said that right there. Yes, they won a ton of them. A lot. <laughs> A lot. And yeah. well deserved too. Oh yeah. 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 I mean. Yeah. Look at um have you guys ever seen um let me look them up here. Yeah, if it's gotta be on the fifty top fifty list, man. I gotta read it. Plus, you know, I mean, just just get up there and on its own. So the original covers that Dave McKean did for Sandman, have you guys seen them? Mm -mm. Dude, they're crazy. So this is Sandman number one. All right. It's not a real cover. It's a straight up like art piece, like that's like 3D digital and stuff. So, the, so this is the uh, comic okay. on the right. Yeah. Here it is. You can see it's like in a, a shadow box. It's got flowers in it. It's got statues in it. He drew the middle part, but then it's got little, you know, trinkets around it. And that is the original cover. Huh. He took a picture of them. So that's how he did them all. They're like, you know, Wild. 3D functional pieces. I'd never seen that. Yeah. Yeah. They're like collages. They're badass, man. Like he. What do those go for? Uh, <laughs> a lot. I'd be, I, I would be surprised if he even sold any of them. You know what I mean? Did he even sell any of them? Here's Somebody has one. some. You guys want to see this one? Check this out. So. Here's the well, cover. If he's watching the show, now's the time to sell and, and hit me up, you know? Look at this one. This one is... Uh... If we have to ask how much it costs, we can't afford it. That's right. Oh, there you go. Rolling this is 75600 or more. Yeah. There Which you go, 80000 The way Heritage works is the make offer is, what, 10% above what sold mm -hmm. was on it. So it's reasonable to think that that was 68000 when it sold on Heritage before. And this is uh, yeah, let me do this. That's this crazy. is let me hide all this other stuff. This is what uh, if you gotta ask, right? So this is twenty G's for just a mixed media collage original art edition, Dave McKean. So it's twenty G's right there. So not even a regular cover either. Nope. So. Yeah, I couldn't imagine owning some of these. Here is, um, I mean, you, you could just go through the original art. Here we go. Here's uh, original art for the trade paperback. It's kind of crazy. Let's see here. 
anyways, I, I just think that is uh, really fascinating. A lot of people don't realize that uh, he that's how he did all the Sandman covers. Here is Preludes and Nocturnes, the new one, I guess, that he did, which is really crazy. It's got all these different, like, robin eggs in it or something, and a stick from the sea or something. He's This guy's fucking, this guy's badass, man. I don't know if I'm going to pay uh, $80,000 for some stick from the sea. Hey, some... You can make an offer to the owner for forty grand or more. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there you go, you guys. Make sure you guys uh, check it. Yeah, check out your, your Sandman stuff. Um, all right, let me, uh, you guys remember, um, go check out Hive Comics. Uh, I'll throw in the uh, link again, um, to the new book. We just had Matthew Rosenberg on, which is pretty cool. Um, seems like a really cool dude, really down to earth, uh, cool, uh, chill dude. And uh, I really like uh, what he's been doing, the, the aesthetic with uh, everything that he's been doing with all of his books, uh, including uh, this one, The Furthest Place From Here. This is uh, the Hive Comics exclusive. You guys can get uh, a bunch of them. I'm going to put the link in the chat for you. There we go. Wish you could get this exclusive art or this original art. I wish. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, what else? Anything else crazy been going on this week? I mean, yeah, there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on this week, but uh, um, I'm just thinking of all the other stuff. Um, I don't know really. I mean, yeah. what, I mean, what if was terrible? We talked about it on Saturday night. Yeah, uh, garbage. What else? The boys' spinoff series got announced, which is very interesting. Do you guys see yeah, that? Like a, what is it? A college superhero? Yeah. They didn't give a name, though. I don't think. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be freaking it. wild. Like Mork and Mindy spun off from Happy Days is uh, how they explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll be. Oh my god! I can't even imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It says, so uh, uh, Homelander's going to Motor City Comic Con. What do you guys think about that? So we'll talk about that. Think, do you, let's see what he. What do you think he charges? What do you think Anthony Starr charges for an autograph? A couple hundred bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna guess two to three hundred. Yeah, I was we'll say two, 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 two fifty for for an autograph. Okay. What's he? Yeah. Um, fifty. Well, that was what the signing was when he did it for somebody, right? Fifty bucks. Really? Send it. Did you guys know? Here, I didn't know this. The uh, the executive producer left, exited the series, exited the boys over creative differences, and um, who did? Gonna, uh, Craig Rosenberg, oh. the EP executive producer. Um, and it says here that there will be major change behind the scenes with Michelle Fazekas and Tara Butters taking over as showrunners, um, which is crazy. I didn't know that. The Fazekas and Butters serving as showrunners, executive producer, the boys creator Kripke will be executive produced via Kripke Enterprises along with the boys executive producers, Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, and James Weaver. I forgot that Seth Rogen was part of that. Yeah. Well, we'll see how that works out. If there's something wild involved, Rogen's probably there. Yeah. Yeah, well, that guy has been doing great things. I think it's uh, less Seth Rogen and more his um, writing partner, right? Uh, Evan Goldberg. Like, it seems like Seth Rogen is like the guy that comes over and gets stoned with you and tells you all these great ideas and like, no, we should do this. We should do this. And like Evan Rosenberg's like, yeah, OK, you know, just like, yep, yep. He's and the guy he writing the chaos down. Yeah. And, and Evan and then Seth Gold, Seth uh, Rogen will go, uh, you know, get stoned and make a pot and think of some ideas and run back over and go, hey, bro, you should do this. You should do oh, that. Boy. Yeah. So like our meetings. Yeah, kind of like meetings. our meetings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll be at Motor City, I think, uh, Sunday. I think we're going Sunday because I think Saturday is too insane, especially when we have the kiddo. So I think it's going to be Sunday. I'm just going to hang out. I, I maybe, maybe it's got to be a Saturday because I got to get all these signings for my wife. So, uh, oh, maybe I can do it on Sunday. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go on Sunday then. Sunday, yes. Yes, Motor City of Nova. Yes, lovely area of Nova. Yeah. <sighs> Good stuff. All right, you want to get into um, market report there, Z? I, uh, I, yeah. 
was planning on going through and putting them in the order you wanted when you were. Yeah, that's uh, fine. So I, it's probably a little out of order, but you're just gonna have to. I, I had a I had a flow, but it's okay. I can adapt. There was just right. a little chunk of flow. All right. Oh, ready? Oh, I want to see Z like just hanging out, like you know, like have a nice like big pipe as he's you know he's got a big flow going on. Artist. I, I try and think about it and try and put them in a logical order sometimes, and then other okay. times it goes to hell. Uh, I want to start here because damn book just keeps holding. I, it befuddles me that it it is just got yeah. some staying power. Uh, he's, it's got the McFarlane sing. We all know I mean, that. It does. It just it amazes me that it didn't like everybody talked about how many there were and there's yeah. a ton of them and it is holding freaking strong. Well, I think Spawn fans. I mean, how many how many true Spawn fans are going to sell their book? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I, I, I get it. It just it is. It is impressive. There's not, as as Mel would say, there's no hater wave. Yeah. So. I agree. Um, oh, am I'm I supposed surprised to go? this book's oh. still selling. Okay. Easiest ten out there, but people What's like up, themselves some bat wang. Yeah, yeah. You know. It's a ten, man. Ten. Give it a ten. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, this was one of the. Um, most depressing things I've seen in a book. Oh, come on. Signed by Kitson. Oh, boy. How many books is Kitson signed? Any right on the leg? On the leg. I mean, really? That's where you're going to sign? I guess, is it, do you, do you do like silver or do you do it on the rock? Is that, is that, yeah, I don't do it there. I guess, where do you do it at? On the sides? H nope. always does it in, in like silver on either the rock or the, you know, the, the dead space. Nowhere on the body. Yeah, okay. I mean, Jesus. Do it on a cape? Alone, yeah. He knew what he was doing. He was being a dick. Oh. Who, who freaking has Kitson sign the book? I don't know. It's got his name on it. I don't know. Nah. That, that had to have been done, like, forever ago. Like, before that book was important at all. Nah, or book, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I don't even see him with Wade very often. I agree. I agree. Right? I yeah. mean, once in a while. Oh, eBay sorry. one of one. eBay one of one. <laughs> Don't get me started. Just it, it's just like frustrating. That's like a Stan wouldn't even put his signature there for love of God. Stan uh, would do everything. No, she, she, he put on her abs right on the right on the abs. Well, he might have signed the titty, but Maybe. it is Stan. It is Stan. Anyways, uh, CBCS uh, discount on this guy. Newsstand seven fifty. Sorry, Dennis. Um, I don't know. It, it'll be interesting after this movie. What what does it do? Does it you know, especially with the I guess do we kind of ruin a little bit with the rumors of it going to another universe and yada yada yada? It'll be interesting. Does it skyrocket into orbit or does it just hover around a thousand or something? I don't know how much higher it can go. I really don't. I mean, it's going to go one way or the other. I don't think it's going to stay where it's at. Like it's either going to drop because they they kill him at the end of the movie, or it's gonna it's gonna shoot you know to the moon because they leave it open for him to continue on and and for there to be more carnage. I think there'll still be a little drop because I mean there's there's always a little drop after a movie, and now it could go right back up. Well, yeah, due to market flood, there's there's always yeah that little bit of a drop for sure. But we're uh, I don't inching, know. we're inching towards uh, carnage being a household name now. I get it, but I mean, well, I think there's more I think, of these than there are 300, right? Or they're similar. Well, not graded yet, but it's got to be right. heading that way. Yeah. Well, the other thing too, I think, I think our generation, or maybe my generation, grew up with like Carnage, the video game, and all that other stuff from Acclaim. So it's like it's it's becoming more, you know, ingrained in pop culture now. Younger kids probably like. 10 years, 20 years younger than us aren't going to know this unless, I mean, they go to the movies, but they're not going to be ingrained with it. Yeah, I don't know. I, we'll see. I just, I guess somebody got a good deal. Yeah. So it's the new stand. Um, somebody selling all the uh, part two and threes that they got rid of their first ones for. But oh, 750 for a lot of 25. It's not bad. That looks annoying. He probably paid. He probably paid twenty five bucks for those. So I mean, he. I don't know how you're gonna sell all those. I mean, I don't think they are flying. No, no. So, mm. 
was curious what happened on this oh, one. Oh god, I had that book. I might have that book still. It's up a tad. Didn't skyrocket yet. So yeah, I um, I got that book. I think I didn't sell it. I don't think. I missed one. There's yeah. a one in ten variant out. Is it? Yeah, that one's yeah. a bitch. Huh. But this is the better cover. But that one is pretty. Cool. Oh, I missed I missed this one, but uh, okay. hell of a hell of a spawn sale. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. It's a it's ahead of the uh, the thing the book it's homaged to. That's always an interesting one, right? And I think I guess spawn that spawn number one black and white sketch is still is it more expensive now than this? I can't remember the last mm-hmm. sale of that one. Yeah. But, yeah. Which is crazy to me, but. Yeah, this this uh, I mean it's a gorgeous cover. Yeah. The closest I can come to most of those homage covers in Spawn is the uh the Mexican editions. <laughs> exactly. I've got quite a few of those, but that's what they're for at this point. Yeah. Um well here's a here's a big boy sale. I didn't even see this one pop up. I, I don't always have it on my feed, but Wow. Five K and change for seven oh. I mean it's a it's a nice looking freaking copy. I mean, yeah. for being graded to seven, I kind of did a, a close up. I mean, it's not like over graded. And I honestly, in this book, that's a, that's a pretty acceptable damn grade. So she get a premium for not being signed. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> right across the, the, the face too. Jesus. Uh, Here's one that I was watching. I almost been on this bad boy deadline. Uh, Tank Girl is, you know, there was a rumor right around 2020 it was going into production. It was going to go, and then it kind of died because of COVID, and it's just not really got back on the schedule as best I can determine. Um, but that looks man, clean. That looks clean. That's one of the harder nine eights, right? It looks clean. I don't even think oh, there, there, there is no nine eights. I don't yeah. think yeah. I've seen some a nine four. Uh, I mean, this book lives in the six, seven, maybe a couple eights. I mean, yeah. it's a big book. It's big. It's these damn UK editions. They didn't used to be able to fit in a slab, and now they actually can. But most of them have some heavy spine ticks, some dirt on the back cover that's all white. Um, so, I mean, if you can get yourself a, something in the seven, eight range, you're doing pretty well. Um, I thought I'd I'd get this one when people were... Uh, not paying attention, but I think it's a U.S. sale, so it got a little more bidding action than I wanted to deal with. I'd love to pick another one up in the 300, 350 range. Okay. Uh, another another uh, kind of oh. copper key, the, the Primer 5. This one was moving for a while with the rumor of something happening with, uh, what's his name? Magic Mike. Wasn't he going to do something with it? Uh, 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 blah 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 blah. Channing, Ch- yeah, Tatum, or no, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, you know, I don't know. It it seems to have cooled down. I know there was some sales considerably higher than this for a minute. Um, so actually, not a bad price. It's a tough damn book to find a nine eight. Um, Grendel. Uh, news, news, news. I, I just saw this price. I mean, I, I know it's a remark and that's a sick SS that. and all this, but that's a pretty high sale for this book. But I, I don't know that there's much to compare it to. I've never seen one with the remark like that. So, but probably not the best time to buy. Um, freaking books through the moon. Uh, two sales. One is a uh, PGX and one's a CGC. Uh, I know I sold I sold my 9.6 sometime in the last six months and it was in the 2K range, maybe 22. So uh, nice big bump to go down to 9.2 for the same kind of price range. So. Yeah. It was kind of a sleeping giant. I should have held on. I just I, I lost lost faith and was moving into other things. I did the same thing. Sold my raw a little too early, but I I mean I got good money out of it. Yeah, it's it some, the, you can't uh, look back sometimes, you know. No, it was a yard sale find too, and I I kept this, but 
and it's rough, but I kept, I kept that one. But nice. I definitely, I sold my primer. I know, uh, I know Stein's sitting on one, so maybe he can cash in his nine, six. I bet that's a 4k book now. Oh yeah. Uh, so there, I, I'm out of order, but there was a nice little run of interesting error variants. And I, this is one that I don't think it's talked about a lot, but the DC Sandman uh, purple cover. So initially you think it's probably fading because it's a blue cover normally, but it's actually uh, part of the print run, just kind of the ink didn't go right and it kind of turns purple. You can you can see similar things on like uh, Doom Patrol 99. I think you can kind of see a little bit on uh, uh, Moon Knight 1 sometimes, but not as pronounced. There's a She-Hulk number one with a uh, with it looks like it's fading where the blue is uh, very light really so uh, yeah that's uh, yeah it has a discolor discoloration to it do they do they mark it that way i don't think so it, it, it like like when i saw it i thought the cover was fading but that wasn't the case yeah it's, it's real interesting it's always interesting to see how many have to have happened for it to kind of get classified as an error you know this one I've seen enough of them that it there must have been a not a giant part of the print run, but enough. So, just one of those things to look for. I mean, you'll find this dang book in dollar bins all the time. You find the purple one, you can make a little bit of money on it. So, keep your eye out. This one surprised me. Doctor Fate from nineteen eighty seven nine eight for number one. I, I I guess we're running out of things to buy in the affordable range. So people are just getting one they can get. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, I got nothing. I mean, you got multiple bids, so, I mean. Can't get much for 300 bucks these days, so I guess take what you can get. Uh, now, here's the error that's out of order, but uh, this is, as uh, as my boy on uh, IG, FN Rad, uh, says, this is the uh, kind of, this is the book of the 90s, the Malibu Spawn error, the... Uh, I think the nine eights are pushing 25k now maybe even a little more uh so 2k on an eight five is a huge price jump for where it was not too long ago i mean this book is just skyrocketing what did you say nine eights were 25k Jesus. so so this book is on par with ultimate fallout 4 variant yes okay uh, it's funny because I bid on a nine eight and I, I wussed out uh, and hit a little over ten k. I think I bid seven or eight because there hadn't been a sale in forever. They didn't exist, and I think there's three. Um, but yeah, it's a monster. Dealer flip side. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I will say I always tell uh, story of TJ. I uh, talked about a buying a. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 9.8, but I did yep. sell on my 9.4 of this at a pretty good rate, so at least I evened him out. Uh, he, 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 we still fucked him pretty hard. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, 500 bucks for Avengers 267 First Council of Kangs. That's a pretty steep price for a book that I think you can probably find a lot of 9.8s of somewhere. I found yep. one for a dollar yeah. <laughs> last weekend. Yeah, I'm sure this is still floating in the dollar bins. So, yeah, great at flip it. Get yourself some some serious quiche. Uh, this is one you don't see high grade DC silver that often, especially an old label CGC OG label. There right. may be some potential in this one. Under two K, that's a nice price. Um, not a common book. Not a very one, easy one to find in high grade. I know it's a tertiary character, but still, man, compare that to anything Marvel, you'd be paying a know, lot three times. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying buy DC per se, but you find nice DC, it might be the time to invest in some of the higher grade stuff you can't find again. That looks yeah, under, don't. That looks undervalued as hell. The Adam to me is a big deal. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but that's a, like that character is a big deal to me. Well, it just nobody can get the DC to kind of get to the point where they can use these characters, you know. 
But I mean, that was Marvel 20 years ago. Dude. Yes. So, I mean, you, you just can't, you can't sleep on a high grade, like you said, on high grade silver and gold age DC stuff. Don't, don't sleep on that. Cause yeah, it, cause it's, it could be, you could be looking, we could be looking back at that 20 years from now being like, Oh, we could have grabbed one of those for $1,827. Yeah. It, uh, you, you, know? you aren't going to find a lot of DC silver in the eights and above. You just aren't, especially that book. Um, <laughs> I keep going back to Amazing Fantasy pages, the fan page. Not even a panel. No. I I mean, really? Hey, really? Well, some people can't afford it. You know, I mean, what, what's a panel? A thousand? I twelve hundred? I yeah. I just I just. It's okay. Oh, I got. Come on. I'm not hating if you bought it. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I don't know. Uh, fun comic. I always like seeing the Jeep comics. Freaking cool. dinosaur on it, and yeah. a Jeep flying into it. That it looks cool. good too. Looks good. Nice look, yeah, it's a nice looking copy. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those books that it has a niche. You know, you got the dinosaur, you got Jeep, you got you know. There's just a lot going on it. It kind of is surprising that it stays under the radar like it's that. It's got that contact comics. Uh, is it 12 kind of uh, moon thing, you know, when he's shooting the spaceship kind of flare to it? Yeah, it's, it's just got a lot going on that gets a lot of different groups interested. That's, you know, it's one of those books that always has some potential. to keep well, it Everybody in Jurassic Park. It's Jurassic Park. You guys are idiots. I don't know. Right, we all know it's Jurassic Park. Uh Young Allies Four. Oh, I wish Red I had some money. cover, man. I, this is a I nice would, copy. I would have been in on this if I had money. If I had money stashed around. Beautiful book, five K. I saw that's cheap. I don't care who you are; it's cheap. As an, I think it was a good deal. Yep. I bet you could throw it on a wall. We'll say in Baltimore and sell it for at least ten. Go like go find another one, right? You know. Yeah. So the right, the right, probably on Heritage has done a good bit better. Yeah. This one uh, surprised me. Adventures in the Unknown Two. I this cover has never stood out to me. Um, it's not that cool of a cover. I mean, I've been looking at a couple of these. And I'm like, it's it's cool, but it's not that cool. Like you know, like you know. Uh, it surprised me. It's PGX. I, I I'm gonna guess that it's probably impossible with all the dark colors to to get in this kind of grade. It's not well printed, but it it still surprised me. Because it's PGX, I'm gonna guess that it's counterfeit. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 but the in all seriousness, the crossover scares me because it could be a five, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think maybe somebody just bought it because the presentation though was really nice. So, um, Elf Quest continuing to go up a bit. I mean, this used to be fifty hundred dollars all day, and now it's pushing two fifty. So, um. You know, one of those classic Bronze Age things getting its day. This one threw me. It is, I don't, I'm not sure if it's the sixth print. I, I, I struggled with. They called it in the listing the second print ash can size. So I, I, I don't know exactly what that is. We need to call confused. Paul. Where's Paul at? I Always. tried to research it and I just got confused, but I'm not sure it's worth five hundred dollars, whatever it is, unless I am missing something. I know there's a lot of editions, there's a lot of versions. I I got lost, but I I, I can't imagine it's worth that. And with that with that shitty ass dog ear on the top right corner too. And big old hand. I don't know. If somebody in the chat knows what I'm looking at, I apologize. Fill me in. I just I couldn't figure it out from the description and it was throwing me off. Oh, oh with the DVD, somebody yeah. says. Yeah, look at that. Thank you, guys. Guys are the greatest. So. Um, yeah, we did need Paul. He would have told me a little more about it. Yes. Um, Lethal Protector Black. Oh. New stand error. 6,200. Um, I, I didn't actually know what aired both ways, but I guess it makes sense that it would. It's just a color variation. Um, it didn't 
get a significant premium over the standard. I think just an error on its own is limited as hell, but I guess if you're going to do it, it's kind of cool to get the new stand. Um, but yeah, if you're a Venom fan, that's one of these books that tough as hell to get an actual auction ended, whereas most of them I see listed are listed for 25 K or so. So mm -hmm. to get one at a realistic price is, is tough. So nice grab for somebody. As you can see, there was a theme to errors that kind of got all mixed up. That's it. I think I got a duplicate. Oh, no. We're, oh, he didn't. Brian. He didn't Brian. do the She-Hulk. Dang it. I'll save the She-Hulk for next week. Okay. I bet it got stuck in the thing. It's out of right. oh. It's another error to keep your, well, kind of an error. One of those weird things. Nico found it. Awesome. But we'll we'll hit on that next week. But that's cool. all I got. Cool, cool. Look at Not this. bad. Uh, before I bounce, um, can I do my pickups before I bounce? Because I haven't done yeah, pickups in a while. Yeah, we're gonna um, probably do pickups right now and uh, call it a show. Uh, let's see what I got. Shit, dude. I bought I bought some of the Walmart packs. I didn't get anything. I didn't get a Venom one in one thousand. Oh, I got I bought some of those and I got a turds. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I bought some things for the wife because it had to be um, it had to be cool. So, um, a little uh, where the where is it where the monsters are where the giants are whatever that book was back in the day. So I got this for astounding like twenty bucks. So. Uh, there was a nice run of like interesting Hulk covers back then. Yeah, this is uh, forty nine Hawk forty nine. So I, I got that. Um, it's uh, um, you know October, so uh, I got to roll with a Nightmare on Elm Street because that's all her. You know, she she digs all the uh, cool crazy. Uh, yes, with the vans. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with the vans, uh, and then I'm gonna get the. Uh, I think I'm gonna get these sneakers when they come out too. It's gonna be sick. The uh, uh, and then I bought this for um, people. Look at this, look at this a little Disney Adventures in sync magazine to get Joey Fatone to sign. Oh, yeah, how sick is that? It's like good stuff there. I can, I can do a Carter impression. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I get her to sign it or get him to sign it. And that, uh, I don't does think that teach you how to pray on the back? What the hell is that? Um, uh, Oh, like, no, 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 no. It's, I wish it was. It'd be funny. Um, okay. If you actually can see it, it's it's like, uh, for, it's like uh, teaching you how to pray. For N64 Slugfest, Ken Griffey Jr. Slugfest, it's uh, hand signals from the um, the catcher. Yeah, I don't think the catcher can do that. But I don't think cool. he can do it. I, I don't think he can take his glove off and do yeah. that. But, yeah. anyways, um, so here's my other question, guys. Where does he sign it at, you think? Right under Joey Fatone's head. You think so? That's in the best spot. In Lance's face. In in purple. Do you think he's, you think he signs it over JT and just be a complete dick about it? Yes. That's funny. It'd be funny if he put um if he like drew on his face too. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, how about this one for a CG, CGC signature series? Try to get all five guys to sign it. I think that'd be very difficult. That'd, that'd be, be cold. That would be cold. Hey, is that sealed? No. Um, he got him in a. It's like a, um, I don't even know it's what like it's like. Like a greeting card bag. That's what it kind of looks like to uh, me. I, see, I find some foreigns in those, like, yeah, it's that's like a little thing that'll fit in them. Yeah, like a little greeting card bag. And the, the crappy part is, this is actually a decent one. I had a good one that was in, like, primo condition, but I got a little, uh, like, you know, because I had the uh, magazine subscription kind of thing. But I mean, what are you going to do? Your ass is really going to wait in line for that. I'm not me. My wife is. I'm. Oh, so I, got, okay. I got things to do. I picked up all. Um, oh, let's see if I can go back in my uh, storage. The storage is here. I picked up a. I don't have it. I picked up Saved by the Bell. I got to stand in line for fucking Mario Lopez. I have my uh for mother in law. This is really gonna wait. <laughs> yeah. So my mother in law. That's my mother in law's Christmas gift. So should be Mario Lopez fan. Things I do for people. So. Have it. Have at it. Yeah, I could have. I could have. Hey, people, you know. I will tell you what. Uh, IndyCon's guest list is hurting. It is I hurting know. Bad. Who, who did I just see that that popped on? Because um, I'm on the Facebook group there. There's so. some. There's some voice actors popped up. Um, the the only interesting one to me was uh, Alan. Uh, 
uh, is it, it's not Rick. Is it Rickman? Uh, the guy who's Hawk on Titans is interesting, but Alan Rick, Rickman died. I think. It's not, it's not hey, I thought you were gonna say Alan Thick. Ain't he dead too? <laughs> Maybe, but no. It's the guy from Titans is the only interesting one on there. But like, I, I don't know. It's a rough guest list. Most of them canceled before. So. Official Indiana Comic Con. See, here's my uh, Dollar Avengers uh, 267. Nice. nice. This thing is gorgeous, too. I was really surprised. You, wanted, it you got pickups? You got pickups? Yeah. Pardon? yeah. I got some spec for you, too. Oh, boy. I got some. I got Stop some being a dirty flipper. I got some X spec. Okay. okay. So, uh, real quick, expeditiously. Um, so, we have Ultimate Comics, X Men number 13. And this is the first appearance of a character called Purge, a.k.a. Nomi Bloom. Uh, she's a girl mutant with basically the same powers. I talked about this in my uh, Paul video uh, a few days ago. Uh, she basically has the same powers as Magneto. Okay. It's the first appearance. Girl with the same powers as Magneto. Let me see if I can find her in the issue. Okay, there she is right here. She has blue hair, so she stands out even more. And uh, so this is the regular cover. And here's the 1 in 25 cover. Oh, wow. These are super cheap, like really cheap. And um, something that I realized about myself as a um, comic book reader and collector. Now, Kitty Pride is on both of these covers. That's Kitty Pride, And I realize that I hate Kitty Pride. <laughs> they try to like i said this before in the video my previous video uh they try to position her as like this badass and i'm just not buying it i don't like her i think she's a shit character i think x-men 129 is an overrated book and if it weren't for it being the first appearance of sebastian shaw and emma frost um, uh, that book would be a bust. Fuck Kitty Pride. I would take that money and put it towards something comparable, like say I don't know, First Deathstroke. How about that? Fuck right. X Men One Twenty Nine. Fuck Kitty Pride. She sucks. Oh, all <laughs> out on her. What's up? What's up? Think of that player. What's up? Think of that. All right. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Ooh. Uh, let's do. Ooh. Holy shit. Check this out. I got two of these. I was at a show, got two of these for 10 a piece. Nice. Wow. So Ultimate Comics, uh, all new Spider-Man number one. I thought, I thought my uh my time had come and passed when it come when it came to uh finding uh sealed copies. Nope. The blessings they're still out there. They're still out there. Yeah. All right. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. a beautiful VF copy of uh Submariner number 50. I'm really this cover sucks, but I'm really surprised at how popular this book is. Especially I love those frame covers though. What do they call those? The box frame covers or something like that? Yeah, yeah, just frame covers. Yeah. Yeah. And I love first, that style, man. First Namorita chilling out in the back. It, these these claw the, like the claw men, they're they look he a little dumb. character, right? Yeah. Uh fuck, what no, What's not that character. Like, claw. claw. Awful. I think it may have been awful. I had yeah. Webster too. Webster was dope. Webster was my guy. Yeah. <laughs> a bone white copy. Um, how much was this? I think this was like 30 bucks. Wow. So yeah, and this thing is beautiful. White supremacist worthy white. <laughs> um boop, 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 boop. we've got Strange Tales number 150. <laughs> uh first appearance of uh ba -ba 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 -ba, this guy. Tribunal, yeah, the the living tribunal. Uh, I believe this was forty. That's so, not bad. Yeah, man, great it's character. On and popping. Ooh, we got some. We got some newsies. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Check this out. So we got Ultimate ooh, Fantastic Four, ooh, ooh. number twenty two. Now I, I actually I actually paid up for this. So I paid forty dollars. I saw somebody sell a twenty one on a website I usually go on for seventy five uh, bucks. Kill, kill that noise. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going near that. But I, I tell you what, if it were a newsstand, I'd pay half that. How about that? So uh, we got a newsstand for $40. I paid up, but I figured 
if somebody's gonna pay forty dollars for the direct version, I'll pay forty dollars for the newsstand. And we got ourselves another newsstand. Oh, Action oh. Comics number nine. Nope. Um, first Calvin Ellis, of course, and uh, I paid thirty for this. I actually passed it up for like a minute. I'm like, I don't want to pay thirty. I'm thinking. This was like a cover price book, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I doubled back because I'm like maybe maybe ten bucks at best. Yeah. I, and got you. I figured because I had passed up the combo pack for this for fifty dollars, like maybe a year ago, and I was just like, Ugh. you know what I mean? It's just like you kind of regret it for the lack of a better term. So I figured, let me go ahead and buy this, buy this stupid thing. Um. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, so this is uh, another. This is a photo cover, mm-hmm. uh, R- RDJ photo cover. This is my favorite of uh, the uh, Robert Downey Jr. photo covers. And uh, we'll do one. Let's do one more. Oh, let's do this one. Now this one is this one ain't that expensive, but it's a bitch to find. Uh, mm-hmm. Jungle Action number eighteen, first appearance of Madam Slay. This is the uh, this is the one that uh, resurrects uh, Killmonger, the lady that does it, not the issue. Right, <laughs> right. So yeah, that's my haul. Nice, cool. Oh, one more, one more. Oh boy, oh boy. Secret Empire number great cover eight. J. Scott Campbell cover. I'm surprised this book doesn't go for shit. Yeah. Because everybody like, doesn't care about Jay Scott Campbell anymore. Yeah, well, it doesn't movie. have his traditional vibe lady on it. They don't recognize it. Correct. Yeah. But yeah, I like this cover. So there we go. Got this for cover price. James, you got any pickups? Ew. I do, I do, I do. Uh, so I got some more Spirit Weeklies. Oh, you love those. Oh. <laughs> do these ones have uh, holes in them? I haven't looked. Maybe I should check. If they don't, you might be in the luck. Uh, these ones do not look like they have holes in them. Ooh, nice. Beautiful. My last one's still, I mean, I'm happy with the 7 and 75 yeah. I got from them. But yeah. The Primordial 1 and 100. Mm-hmm. So waiting for uh, Lemire at a con to get those signed. Got the Ascender Retailer Summit. Ooh, nice. Fine. It's a pretty book. And then cover. Love that cover. A and B. And then I've got this amazing book from Wonderworld. Nice. <laughs> He's in the chat, so I had to pull that one out. It's okay. Um, I will say, okay, so everything so far has been PC books. These ones, the rest of these aren't necessarily. I mean, I've got some of this one for PC, but. And then uh, I've got. Uh, Izzy's comics, Franklin and Ghost Origins. Beautiful cool cover. Oh, I love sure. Garrett Gunn. I love the Franklin and Ghost universe stuff, and this is one of the coolest covers I'd seen. So, ended up snagging a couple of those up from uh, his store. I think Garrett uh, Gunn was on Comic Book One. What's that? I think Garrett Gunn was on Comic Book One, right, McClay? Probably recently. I think he was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's doing some cool stuff right now. Um, the rest of these are all like one per stores and, and thank you variants, but this is uh basilisk four. And then that's a pretty book too. Yeah. It. All the, most of these covers are freaking amazing. This is win 10. This is the, I think the thank you variants and seven secrets, 12, which these have all been really cool too. Uh, I think the seven secrets ones are all, uh, just virgin variants of the a covers and then ma one. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And then Layla Star 5. I love this one. Hmm. That one's pretty cool. And then Wind 8. And Mamo 1. Hmm. And Buffy 27. Uh, this oh. one's pretty cool. I like yeah. That one. Yeah. Some of the Buffy covers I haven't been too cool with, but I thought that one was pretty sweet. Magic 4. And wow. Power Rangers 9. Oh, that's not the... That's just Power Rangers 9. <laughs> uh, Seven Secrets 10. And then Firefly 5. Love the Firefly stuff. 
Yeah. And then there was another unlockable for Firefly 5, and that was that one. And all of those are going to be in my whatnot sale. Nice. Boom. So um, when, I, what are you doing? You're whatnot. What's up? What's going on with that? Uh, I'm going to try again on Wednesday. I know it's like super short notice and stuff. We've just been trying to figure stuff out around the office. But we did our uh, we did one live from uh, FanX, our local con here. It went amazing. Everyone showed out. It was super cool. Um, I fumbled the ball a lot. I definitely learned a bunch of stuff that I need to do different next time. But uh, some people got some really good deals because I didn't set up that uh, last second, you know, thing where it like resets some time. Mm-hmm. So some people snipe some really killer deals out of us, um, but everyone was happy, and that's that ultimately what we wanted. We sold some books, and we have a ton of followers now, which is cool. Um, you know, the one thing I will say about whatnot that really pisses me off is that they need to hurry up and get their damn PC thing going, yeah. man. Just just yeah. put that as number one on the, the list. That needs to override everything else. Like it's such a pain in the ass to do things on the phone and then it freezes on you and when it fucking freezes on you it deletes all those uh issues that you put in the day before it's happened to me four fucking times all four sales i've had the damn thing is frozen up on me i go to fucking get back into it all my sales are gone yeah other than that fucking are you great. sure it's freezing up on you or are you freezing up in the world Watch this. Hey, chat. Is anybody else having issues uh, freezing up on uh, whatnot? Oh, boy. So I had a, my biggest problem was I was like in a con chat. and I didn't have an outlet. And so I still had, I still had like 20 more books to go through. And I looked down at my phone and it was at 5%. And I was like, yeah. oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I got to, you That's know, I got to cut this. Jimmy rig it. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. Hey, real quick, though, before I forget, I just wanted to um, let you guys know that. I know everyone in chat and everyone on the, on the, everyone here uh, loves our friends over at wonder world. Um, some of our, some of the Bartling and Zreet covers, um, they will have some of those available as well. Nice. Um, we still have to we, give that one away, don't we? Yes, yeah, we, we do. do. We do. And but we've been, actually... uh, we've been working, we've been trying to work, uh, work with Dennis and, and, uh, and, and our friends over at selfish to do some, make some things happen here in the future. Hell yeah! And uh, when they found out that we had a Bartling cover coming, they were uh, they were pretty stoked. So uh, yeah, we reached out to Dennis, and he was super excited about it. Um, so him and and uh, over at Wonder World, and then over at Selfish, they'll they'll have some available at some point. I don't know when they're going live. If Dennis knows, he can probably put it up in the chat. But uh, but yeah, they'll have some available as well. So if they're your preferred retailers, go snag them from them. Yeah, here's the other crazy thing. Uh, so uh, Repair Tech Tony uh, said, tried watching some of the sale yesterday, but there was no picture on the app. Just listen alongside on the YouTube simulcast. So I literally had to go on YouTube and simulcast it at the same time. It was crazy, man. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's give away that uh, dope uh, Hive Comics book. So uh, everybody that's been active in the chat, uh, appreciate you. Um, we are going to give this book away right now. So let's uh, let's do it. So this would be for a Zarit, a Bartling, and the record. Nice. All three, Zarit, yeah. Bartling, and the record. This is a huge win right now. for so Not for this. the lurkers. Yeah. And I'll give you uh, – no, I won't give you any more time. Here we go. Ah, we'll they've been in here. They should do it. Jay Warren. He says, uh, subscribe since 1-19-2021. I don't know what his message is, but uh, Jay Warren. Uh, he might have just been a like. He is in the chat. Right he is there. in the chat. He said sweet. So shout out to Jay Warren. Uh, Jay, hit up. James, where do you want him to hit you up? Um, I will right now in the chat. I'll toss in that email address for him real quick. Okay. Um, just shoot us an email, Jay, and, and we'll get you taken care of, man. So there you go. Jay Warren has won the giveaway. Jay, thank you nice. for uh, hanging out with us. And um, we appreciate you and uh, everybody else in the chat. Yeah, he says, wow, thank you. Nice okay, there you go, Jay. It's in the chat there. Just uh, shoot me over an email. I'll get an order made for you. There you go, Jay. Hit him up. That is freaking super cool. Brett Hess Art says, nice win. Brick Hunter says, grats. Yeah, that is a major issue. Yeah, congrats all the way around. Uh, everybody is really, really stoked about that one. So there we go. I think you picked a, a, a watcher, not a commenter, but congratulations, Jay. That's <laughs> yeah, all good. No big deal. 
It's all good. The messages that he did win it with was, uh, wait, did I pick a watcher or a com- I think I picked a, a commenter. I think he said sweet. It was sweet that uh, I did it. So awesome win there. Um, uh, Z, you got any pickups? Uh, the only thing I bought this uh, week, and I forgot to bring it downstairs, I, I picked up a, a batch of Teen Titans Go Series 1, some newsstands were mixed in with some stuff so i'm slowly acquiring a pile of them we'll see not bad not bad uh i do not have any pickups i've been so freaking busy uh with everything else that uh no pickups for me uh but i do want to uh again put in the um chat you guys i'm gonna remind everybody about hives uh awesome new book let throw this up here that uh, one of which we just gave away. So um, you guys, make sure you guys go check out Hive Comics, uh, one of the uh, best retailers in the community. Uh, we work with some great retailers, Hive Comics, Wonder World Comics, uh, um, Wanted, Wanted Comics, uh, Bird City Comics, just some a lot of great people out there um, that uh, we, we uh, appreciate and respect in our community, and uh, we think that you should uh, go give them a uh, uh, shout out and buy some stuff from them um like ronnie strike has who says uh got some amazing books from the high box i bought so oh, yeah. there we go thank you keep an eye keep an eye on their uh website and their instagram um and then just go to this link that i am going to drop in the chat right now and score yourself some pretty sweet covers uh and a really dope uh seven inch record that is pretty cool with that too. So check them all out. Um, I also want to, before we leave, I want to uh, remind everybody about uh, Tony Fleece just did a, a new Kickstarter for his um, uh, Time Sharper book uh, that we had on um, the other day. And uh, if you guys don't know about this, this thing's pretty sick. Um, let me do this. I wanted to show you guys this before we leave. I apologize. So let's see here. Where is it? Kickstarter. Is this it? Oh, boy, you guys. Fail. There we go. All right. <laughs> so uh, I'll put it in the link. It's the Time Shopper. This starts Wednesday. Um, and it's got a lot of really cool stuff. You have the ability to get some really cool extras in this. Uh, basically, it's about uh, you know time travel and going and getting cool uh, you know trinkets and stuff, being a time traveler and stuff like that. So one of the uh, cool things they have on their Kickstarter is you get all these like certain cool little trinkets from back in time. Like one of them is uh, a signed picture by Jesus. Uh, another one is a 52 Mickey Mantle card um there's all kinds of cool little things they put in there but uh you can get one that like has all the cool things in it and the preview of this book which is uh crazy rare um for like 100 lives 150 bucks so make sure you guys go check it out uh tony fleece uh, kickstarter for time sharper time shopper um yeah cool stuff so <laughs> yeah right it's uh his his Kickstarter, I only know because I've got he had to send some of these out in our stray dogs trades, but it's uh September 29th is his launch date for that. Yep. And he's yeah. got a website set up for it too. That time shopper comic.com is set yeah. up to it give looks people really good. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. cool. I'm excited. I'm way excited. I um I I think it's uh pretty cool to see um the doors that are opening for uh Tony and Trish and everybody involved in Stray Dogs because uh, you know how good that was and kind of shining a little light on them as creators which um is great. So make sure to check that out. Uh that being said, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and uh check out Comic Book Women tomorrow night. They'll be on uh, doing uh, one of their amazing spotlights. So uh, show them some love. That being said, you guys got anything else? Oh, good night, gentlemen. We are out. Peace out.